are you talking about? Oh, the clade is like this big. You got the baddest luck you've got. Softball freaks. It's been a little bit. It's been a little bit. It's been a long time. Chess has been on the road, but most importantly, we have Sierra Romero <laughs> in the studio. We need like some studio noise. <laughs> 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 we got Sierra Romero here. Um, Chess is back. Yep, I'm so alive. I'm here, but that's not really important. Yep. Um, this side of the table, very important and very tan. Like very tan. Very white <laughs> on this side of the table. I was like, I don't want to be sad. This is Shamara's table. skin. Yes, you guys look fantastic. I'm just holding it down over here. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so. Hey, you're do you're looking great too. Yeah. We need the contrast, right? Yeah. Yin, you need, every yeah. yin needs their yang. Yep. I'm your yang. That's yeah. Cool. I like that. Mm -hmm. I like that. <laughs> Allie's Allie. here. Wow, wow, wow. If you didn't know, that is Allie. That's my name. That's and, me. Um, it me. They managed to point that it me. <laughs> block letter. Um, yeah. So we're all here. Yep. Finally. We're all here. Now I've missed you. I've missed you too. When's the last time? I know. I've missed Sierra. Mm -hmm. um, most importantly, I've missed Melissa Romero. Hi, Mom. <laughs> hey, guys. Hi, Mom. Um, so, yeah. It's going to be a good show. Oh, yeah. Great show. There's a lot to cover. Obviously, the entire softball landscape, which is, you know, our expertise. But first, let's talk about what have you been up to, Romo? Oh, man. Uh, a lot of training, working out, just trying to get better, um, camps and clinics, and enjoying the off-season. Just and, resting. And you have a huge Europe trip coming up, right? Yes, I leave Sunday. And the, how many of the Pride are going? Um, I don't know the exact amount, but we have enough for a full team because we're going to be playing games and running um, clinics while we're out there. And you're going to be two weeks, and where all in Europe are you going? Uh, Italy, Prague, Netherlands, Paris, and I think that's it. That just, not just, too shabby. Just yeah. that in two weeks, no big deal. It's, not, it's just that. I'm excited. Um, that's awesome. What are you guys going to be doing there? Um, I know we're going to get to sightsee a little bit, but we're going to be playing games, giving those clinics. Um, and just helping with the expansion of softball um, all over. I'm excited to work with the youth out there and just kind of see the talent. Um, and I'm excited to play against some of the teams. They're supposed to be pretty good. Who, who, do you guys know who you're going to be playing? Um, I know we're playing the Italian national team, okay. um, but I'm not sure um, what other teams we're playing against. But I know we're playing the Italian national team a few times. Very cool. Very cool. Anything else? Updates? Updates. Back in California. Back in California. Have. The family's good. Um, we have a dog named Bailey. Hey, we need a picture of the dog. Yeah, word Bailey. up to yes. Bailey. Yeah, we hear you. What kind it's of dog? Is it? What kind of dog? Golden Doodle. <laughs> oh, it's a Golden Doodle? Yeah. All right. Okay. She's crazy, yeah, but I we love her. They're, they're nuts. They are nuts. <laughs> yeah. Allie just got a dog. Mm -hmm. I did. Good old Tobes, Mr. Yeah. Tobes. Toby? Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to I Toby, Toby, who's not watching. I know. He's at home. He's missing me, I know. I miss you too, Toby. He's okay. He's fine. Let's get this back on track. Uh, <laughs> uh, and now it's a show about dogs. <laughs> Who doesn't love we dogs? Join us next week as we talk about blue healers. If you don't like dogs, <laughs> if you don't, like dogs they don't trust you. Right? Well, yeah. <laughs> what is it that you don't trust? What about if they're a cat person? Oh. Is there... Cats are... I just recently read... Uh, an article online, which means it's 100% accurate, um, that cats actually knock things off tables because they're trying to like annoy their owners. They're willfully, How? willfully doing that. I believe that. Don't question it, Chez. It's on the internet. I mean, it's 100% accurate. <laughs> we're reading Sierra the intentions of cats these days. Sierra Romero <laughs> believes it. It's all that matters. Oh, jeez. Get out of here with your cats. <laughs> um, okay. So we talked about earlier who has the better jacket. We did. We me. discussed who has the better jacket. I think um, clearly it's me. We're gonna, it's we're gonna for members only. We're going to let the folks this on Lulu. Facebook. So, Lulu. Lulu. This is vintage. Um, vintage. <laughs> we're going to let pockets on the inside. The most important question you're going to hear today, folks, is who has the better jacket? Romo. Come on. We need to hear from you. We need to hear from you on Facebook. Comment at the end of the. This I is promise, really important I stuff. We'll circle back at the end of the show. And if you like what I'm wearing, you can vote for me. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> but Boring. let us know um, who has the better jacket. All right. People, they, people just want to get into softball. They're I like, know. Yeah. They're, they're like, ready for softball. Win Oklahoma versus Oregon. They don't care about jackets or yeah, dogs. No. 
too um, bad. All right. What's going on with the NPF? Yeah. NPF. Tell we us. Got Sierra. Inside scoop. Give us the inside scoop on the, you know, just give us a scoop. Maybe half a scoop. Um, half scoop. Half as scoop. far as I know, we're doing just fine. Um, I'm excited for season. Um, I'm excited to play. It's going to be good competition, playing against some of the best. Um, and I still get to represent UCCA Pride. And uh, I'm excited. I mean, we're a pretty good team. I don't know if you know that. They're kind of they're kind of a big deal. Kind of like the Yankees. Kind of a big mm -hmm. deal. Yeah, what's it like playing with uh, so many great players? It's awesome. It's just it's cool just because I mean, think about like the face of different college programs all on one team together. It's just like so much greatness on a team. It's awesome. Like I I learn so much every single day at practice, um, at games. It's like I'm constantly studying the game and learning new things. Um, playing with Kelly Crutchman has been awesome, just kind of getting to, like, pick her mind. And uh, same with Lauren and, and some of the pitchers, like, kind of learning their approaches to hitters so I can kind of get an idea of what pitchers are trying to do um, and know what pitch is coming before it actually gets there. Yeah, Crutchman, we've dubbed her the Ageless Wonder on this show. You have. I've dubbed her the Ageless Wonder <laughs> on this show. But you mentioned Chamberlain. You mentioned faces of programs, like mm -hmm. you're the face of Michigan, Chamberlain is the face of uh, – Oklahoma, Crutchman was Alabama. Like it, it is. She has the face of Texas. Chaz, Chaz has the face of Texas. Her face is stuck behind the microphone right now. But, um, there okay. is. A, it, I mean, that's really the only way to describe the pride. Like they're like the Yankees. Like there's so much greatness. It's almost unfair. Like, mm -hmm. Who's the worst player on the team? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> there's not one. That's the thing. You could just like you could just throw somebody in, and they're just gonna get it done, even if they don't play that position. Like, like you should look at a position in PR when you're done with softball. <laughs> <laughs> she spun that really well. She spun that really well. I think PR is where you need to All be right. uh, when you're done. But no, any like, I don't know, any dirt on anybody, like fun dirt on the team. So Crutchman is like, Crutchman's like the wise teacher, the ageless wonder. Uh, she is, but she's also the biggest kid. Oh, like she's okay. a kid at heart. Like she's just fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Lauren's crazy. Yeah. I love it. She's so fun to be around. I'm sure you know. Yes. Yeah. 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 She's gonna be coming here, I believe, next week. Yeah. We're gonna have. So we have. We're giving you Sierra Romero this week. We're giving you Lauren Chamberlain next week. Um, yeah. She's a nut. That's gonna be fun. Hey, Nick's on. She's hey, Nick. Time. Nick Tarina. <laughs> oh, hey, in Nick. In the house. We're ready to have you in the studio. Nick, we're just gonna completely ignore LSU because I know that's what you want. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah. NPF. You triple said Anybody else? So, Crutchman's a kid, Chamberlain's a nut. <laughs> what else we got? Kalani's the biggest teddy bear. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Jolene's yeah, such a hipster. Who is? Jolene. Oh, okay. Um, I'm trying to that. think, like, who the fans would want to know about. So, what are you? What are you in, like, the pride? So, like, Crutchman's the kid. You're, like, the... I don't know. You're the professional? I can be. Like, okay. I feel like I'm, like, trying <laughs> to be professional a lot of the time, but, like, I don't know, I'm pretty fun, I think. Okay. I think I'm a good time. Okay. I'm a good time. See, her mirror is a good time. <laughs> uh, that's what she needed now. It's on her Tinder. Uh, no, I don't know if you have Tinder. I, I didn't see that. <laughs> I um, <don't> <laughs> and big news. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm absolutely um, not. I'm not on Tinder. She's not. <laughs> You're wasting your time. Um, yeah, I don't know. Anything else? On anything uh, else? Well, I think what a lot of people are probably wondering about, you got invited to the USA tryout in January uh -huh. and didn't make the team is are you still gonna go and try out for USA if they offer the invite again and kind of like what's what do you want to do do you I'm, I'm assuming you want to go to the 2020 Olympics absolutely um, I want to go to the Olympics um, I think I'm good enough to be there and I'm gonna make it happen one way or another so we uh, all three of us made our own little um, 2020 dream team roster and i'm pretty sure all three of us had you at second base duh yeah <laughs> it was we were kind of like this is a no-brainer i thought you were about to brag about yourself winning so i was just oh no <laughs> i mean now that you bring it up you yes did i clearly had the best <laughs> roster because no. i destroyed all of you with like a third more votes than everybody i beat chez by one chez so. came in last yeah oh, wow. but i wasn't no i wasn't gonna go there i was gonna so say rude. like i was gonna say all of us were like this is a no-brainer. Brag so, about yeah, it. It's like, I want Sierra, Sierra Romero on the field, and I want her at second base. Mm -hmm. Like, that's 
kind she's of. She's okay. Well, thanks. I she's appreciate kind of, it. She's yeah. a good time. Remember, she's I'm a good, good time. time. <laughs> um, she's also good at softball. So <laughs> well, I think, I mean, let's dive into this a little bit. You know, uh, part of the Olympics is uh, being able to honor the sport at its highest level. And I feel like you've been just a great face and a presence in the softball community. And I think that's important piece to it because when I think back to when softball was back in the Olympics, think of all the big names and people oh, that were a part of that name, yeah. a part of that team and the and the teams were four. So, and I know you have a strong presence and influence on the young people that are trying to become as great as you in softball. So, um, I know out of like all three of us, all of us like want to see you on that team, and I'm sure the people watching here would like the same thing. Not that my softball career has ever come easy, so I wouldn't expect this to come easy either. So we'll see. Um, I, like I said, I'm gonna do what I have to do to get to the Olympics. It's something that I've always dreamed about doing, and I'll make it happen no matter what. What do you um, What do you think getting back into the Olympics means for the sport? I think it's awesome. I mean, it puts it back on that platform um, just because the Olympics is always considered the highest level for softball. Um, but, you know, we do have the pro league now, which I would say is, which is top yes. notch. Um, if you ever get a chance to go to a game, I recommend it. Um, if you do go, message me. I'll put you on my pass list. Um, but, I mean, that right there is just, for me, that's the top right now, the pro league. Um, that competition is just unreal. I've never faced or seen anything like it. And I think it's really good for the sport that it's back in the Olympics, so we can kind of put it out there. Um, I'm not sure if the games are going to be televised or what, but just being in the Olympics in general is, is huge for our sport. Well, Jeff Ellsworth has you um, on the 2020 team batting in the three hole. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh. thanks for your projection, Jeff. Projection, <laughs> Jeff. A lot of um, comments. A lot of comments coming in already. Mm -hmm. um, oh, and just an FYI, Brittany Connors joined. Brittany's watching. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Brittany Connor. Brittany used to work with Flo <laughs> Softball. For any of you who are wondering, no, she's not going to be playing on the Olympic team like Sierra, but she's <laughs> a big deal. Um, yeah, a lot of love for you for 2020. Um, yep, Danielle Lewis, Sierra will be on the roster for 2020. Um, yeah, so I, it's exciting to have it back in the Olympics. I think everybody feels that way. Um, and uh, yeah, 2020. Go USA, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, we'll see. Whenever there's a tryout. Yeah. I think it'll probably be in January again. Yeah, they typically have, have it, it, but they don't really release when the tryouts are going to be. Yeah. Until it's like. It's been January for years. Yeah, yes. it has been yeah. for a while. Mm -hmm. um, all right. But you have a sister that's pretty good. She's kind of all right. A little known team. Yeah. Oklahoma Sooners. She's killing it. I mean, I'm so proud of her just because, I mean, she's – think about this. So, you know how I talk about playing for the Pride and how we're the face of our – we were the face of our programs. Um, playing on Oklahoma is hard. You have a team full of just studs, um, and that's rare. Usually the team has maybe one really good player, maybe two or three, like mm -hmm. if you're lucky. This team is just loaded. And so there isn't really a face of the program. It's, it's literally the mm -hmm. whole team. It's just it's the face of the university almost. Mm -hmm. And um, it was really cool because I got to go out and watch them play in Oklahoma. And I was just amazed by, by the coaching, by the way they played, um, just their athletic ability. It's awesome. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned that there's really no bad player on the pride. It's the same thing with OU. Like, they're, we talk about it, I feel like, ad nauseum sometimes. Like, their entire, like, top to bottom on their lineup, there's no, there's no weak spot. No. There's no weak link. It's pretty incredible. Yeah, and you've got players that are contending for player of the year and freshman of the year. Multiple. She said players there. <laughs> she said mul like yeah. players are competing for player of the year and freshman of the year. Like yeah, I think um, you probably felt this with being around that team. It's just like such a wonderful synergy amongst the players and coaches. It's a nice buzzword that you used there, Chelsea. That was yeah, nice. Yeah. I didn't go <laughs> I with interesting <laughs> or exciting. We're always interesting. <laughs> Synergy. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, I was really impressed with them when I got to visit them a couple of times uh, back in the fall. There's something special. And, you know, we kind of talked and joked earlier, we wouldn't be surprised if they won four in a row. I really wouldn't. Mm -mm. I just wouldn't put it past them. No. They... They get hot at the right time, 
and they're just filled with talent and I know for a fact she has talent coming in mm -hmm. um, and so it's just gonna be interesting to see what they do I mean the next I don't even know like four to five years yeah, just because it's just gonna continue to get better it's scary like they you know we, I we talk about like they could be the th first team to three Pete since you went to um, a best of five is it best, best of seven I just forgot World, World Series. <laughs> best of five? Best of seven? Just Sarah malfunction. I did. I did. I just, there was a malfunction Tuesday morning. I'm not used to being on on Tuesdays. Uh, but they would be the first team um, since that happened, I think, in 95. Mm -hmm. um, UCLA was yeah. the last to three-peat. Yeah. Um, so they're incredible. I think what we all want to know is all of Sydney's most embarrassing stories. Yes. Oh, my God. Uh, I just saw your mom said thanks for having you on, Melissa. Thanks for hey, watching. Mom. I think I think your mom more than anybody wants to hear uh, about Sydney's embarrassing moments from you. Yeah, yeah. Let's run down the list. Yeah, let's just get top to bottom. Embarrassing. I no, mean, just dish. Yeah. Uh, like what we were talking about earlier. I mean, you guys might think she's all in the sunsets and she's just you know happy all the time. But she's grumpy when she's tired. Like she can be grumpy. She's like mean. what level of grumpy we're talking about? Like here. she's mean, <laughs> and, I, and I'm like, why are you being so? What What is the reason for being so mean right now? Go back to bed. Like, <laughs> and she's just so grumpy in the morning. Um, I think a lot of us are like that though, because I'm not a morning person, so I just sleep longer. Right. So exactly. That way, I'm not grumpy when so I wake up. So does she need like her eight hours? She probably needs more than that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, Sydney, get your sleep. Yep. But she's she's awesome. Um. She's a jokester. She's funny. She, we like to mess around with each other. Uh, it's funny because my brother and I, we go back and forth all the time when it comes to, like, stats and, like, who hits the ball further. And he's getting older now, so he's just hitting the ball, like, way further than I am. So it's just not really fun anymore. But um, I'll argue with him about stuff, and we'll go back and forth. And then all of a sudden, Sid chimes in, and Sydney, once she just mentions her national championship, we just kind of got to shut up yeah and yeah. there's like gigantic it's not one it's rings. two yeah i was gonna say you said national championship it's actually chips. Chips. she could actually wear them as earrings yeah now. yeah <laughs> she could and then like with, yeah with and number with three, three like around the neck or maybe an eyebrow oh, oh no my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> dude eyebrow rings went out when that jacket went out because <laughs> oh, oh man oh. stop um, Sarah with the zingers. That, there's that salt that I've missed yeah, so much. Salty Sarah, just like salt bay. <laughs> like, yeah. um, no, but S you you mentioned Sydney's crushing it. She is crushing it quite literally. She's batting 465, nine home runs, 43 RBIs. She leads OU in batting average. She's second in home runs and RBIs to a freshman, Jocelyn Allo, who we'll get to. Um, she, yeah, she's having a fantastic junior season. I'm um, predicting all American year. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, looking like that easily. I would say. And speaking of transformations, oh Allie, yes, we're we're talking about Oklahoma, but l it, since it's Transformation Tuesday, we had to big <laughs> shout out <laughs> to Patty Gasso. Look at that! Look at that hair! Like, like fine wine, Patty. Yeah. Like fine wine. <laughs> you look great. Uh, you're looking great right now. Um, where did we get that? Where did we get the photo on the left? <laughs> Sierra. What? Sierra had it. Yeah. No. She saved yeah. that treasure. Yeah. Um, man, like fine wine. Look at that. It, what, what left? What is that? Circa that 1994? Hair. Maybe? Yeah, it's know. probably coming back. The, the feathered she's, look? She's she's transformed to a smaller hoop. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very critical. She has gone to the smaller hoop. Um, she grew out her bangs. Yeah. Yeah. That was nice. That was the style. That was the that style. That was. She was. I, I, that has I'm to pretty be. pretty sure. Is Dot still rocking that? I think she still has the haircut. Dot might still have yeah. that haircut. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Keeping it real. Yeah. Staying true. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, oh, you, we have them number one, mm -hmm. which I don't think other polls have them number no. one, which is mind boggling to me. All the other polls have Washington number one, mm -hmm. which, very good team. Legitimate. I just think OU's the best team in the country right now. Changed my mind. Um, <laughs> But uh, Washington is 41 and two, OU is 38 and two. So very deservedly, Washington is being talked about at the top. Um, those two play head to head. Who wins? Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Okay, you have to give reasons. And fa uh, pe out no, there, it's Facebook, like an Oklahoma mic drop. Oh, okay. that's what that was. <laughs> okay. I'm just kidding. 
I think that staff has so much experience. They've got um, obviously one of the best coaching staffs in the country. And I think where OU wins is their bench is super. Like, I know we, th we talk about their starters a lot, but take your pick. They are so deep in every position that it is just frightening. Yeah. You know, because when we think about the World Series, it that bench gets activated almost every single time, and sometimes that's the biggest difference maker. And we know this. That team knows how to perform when their backs are against the wall. We just mm -hmm. saw it this last week mm -hmm. when they were down by, I believe, like six runs yep. against Wichita State. They came back and won. In, uh, in regionals, they were down against Tulsa, about to get eliminated, and they come back no problem. I think it's just they're scary. It doesn't matter if they're down by ten runs. They're a team that can literally produce from top to bottom in their lineup, not to mention – uh, one of the best pitching staffs in the country. Mic drop. I mean, how much was am I supposed to line follow line. up with after that? Sorry, <laughs> you left Sierra Romero speechless. <laughs> um, um, no, they, going off what you said, I mean, they just, they have it all. Whole package. Um, pitching, they have a staff. Um, and having a staff is so important. Mm -hmm. um, they can go to anybody at any, at any moment. They, like you said, they can pull anyone off the bench. And what's crazy is even when they're having their worst day, they're still better than most teams. And they s somehow find a way to make it work. Their swing can be off, and they'll just make a little adjustment, and they'll change it up just for that day just to see what's going to help them win. And they do what they have to do to win. They steal bases. They will do hit and runs. They will make the defense work and think and make them feel uncomfortable. And I think that's one thing that I love. It's it's They play softball. Like They are – constantly doing shifts um, and I just love that part of the game because I think it just makes it so much more interesting and so much more fun to watch um, I really like them and I really like what they have to offer she's picking OU <laughs> in hey, case look, you didn't catch it oh, you yeah. know I'm not discrediting Washington no, they could very all. well yeah. beat Oklahoma in the World Series they're scrappy um, Tara Novello has some help in the circle with mm -hmm. Gabby Plain who's having a phenomenal a lot freshman help. year. Yeah. Who would have thought from down under she would come in <laughs> and, like, go to Seattle, Washington. Thunder and from downtown, down under. <laughs> she would just kill it. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I had to. Um, yeah, yeah, no. And then we, and we were talking about this earlier. You know, Washington lost Ali Aguilar, mm -hmm. Casey Stengel, and Morgan Flores. So Morgan Flores, their top RBI producer, one of their top RBI pr producers, Ali Aguilar, like kind of the, the core of that team. And right now this team has so much chemistry. Mm -hmm. And they, if you watch them on the field, like they can get under your skin because like their energy, they never, ever let up. Talk about a left side that's really strong between um, Van Z and Sis Bates. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, this Bates is having a great season. Yeah. I mean, and then um, adding uh, Tara Natley, uh, who's been a huge contributor to this team. Um, I'm, they have – everybody is contributing. First baseman, Kirsten, is having a great year. Um, so they got it going on. Yeah, you look at Washington's stats, like I'm looking at team stats. They're fifth in batting average. They're first in ERA. They're fourth in fielding percentage. Where else are they on the top here? They're third in scoring. They're first in win percentage. Um, but at the same time, you look at all those two categories, and Oklahoma is either like right in front of them or right behind them. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're, it would be a phenomenal matchup oh, between yeah. the two of them. I would love to see it. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm on the Boomer Sooner train, so I'm going to say OU. Like, <laughs> yeah. I've been on that train since last season. So um, A lot of people on uh, Facebook have been – they're – Pretty pumped about the OU Oregon matchup. They are. I know we're going to kind of deviate. They want us to talk about it. And your mom shared an embarrassing moment, which we'll save for the end. Okay. But All right. What? Um, I didn't see it. OU, oh yeah, it's down. Oh, I'll just bring it up right now. Okay. I'll bring it up. Right. I'll go there. Let's remember. There was one time when she was walking up the stairs and I was in the kitchen and I heard her fall down the stairs and I was like, who was that? And <laughs> Sid, is, Sid was like, it was me, Mom. And she's laughing the entire time. So, <laughs> maybe, so she's 
uh, klutzy? Yes, she is. And she's grumpy in the morning. Also on her Tinder profile. <laughs> 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 um, no, okay, so we, 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 everybody wants to hear, talk about Oklahoma, Oregon. So mm -hmm. I'm going to punt it to you, Jess. What do you, what do you well, think? Well, we know, I believe Oklahoma's on a 26 game. Oh, it's more than that, win Allie. Streak? What are the, what is it? Twenty uh, nine. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Yeah. Twenty nine game win streak. Yeah. But Oregon has been playing extremely well. Oregon they is no joke. I man. mean, they shut down G. Juarez. Um, just want to say, how good were my predictions, Allie? All right. <laughs> they were they were pretty spot on. <laughs> I missed one home run. Jo I predicted that uh, Jocinello would hit. Two home runs. She only hit one. Okay. But everything else was was right. You can pretty much see the future. I guess says. she's improved yeah. since she picked her Olympic team. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. Okay. Zing. Anyway. Yeah, Oregon, no joke. Oklahoma. They're swinging the bats really well. How many home runs did they hit in the first game or the second game? I mean, Jeez. a lot. Yeah. Um, they're swinging the bats well. Uh, Miranda Ellish is pitching really well. Mm -hmm. Megan Kleiss is pitching really well. Um, they're a team that's starting to get into a groove. I, I Who's going to take the series? Well, uh, important question. It's just here. a doubleheader. Is it? Is it a, it's just a double, Oh, yeah, it's I mean? just a doubleheader because it's. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm pretty sure it's a doubleheader. So I'm predicting does it's Oregon. I think it's going to be a split. So you think Oregon's going to uh, cut their win, sh their, their win streak? Look, if I. Uh, They're going to end it? Yes. I think it's going to be a split. All right. Sierra, thoughts? Oklahoma, Oregon? Um, I think with the bats of Oklahoma, I think it's going to match up well with mm -hmm. the pitchers at Oregon in Oklahoma's favor. Uh, I think that's their kind of pitching yeah. that they like to hit. So I'm going to go with Oklahoma they, both games. Uh, they're going to – oh. Uh, a sweep, clean sweep. Sierra's got the sweep. Man, I think they're going to split. Okay. I think they're going to split. Yeah, I, mean, Oregon's I just think too I good. think – you, you still have to travel to the West Coast, sure. so you're dealing with time change and also the grueling schedule that they've been playing. But I, I think... I would not be surprised if they swept them, but I, I think it's going to be a split. I think... Somebody can fact check me, but I think 30 is Oklahoma's win streak record, their school record. Allie, maybe check me. Is it 30 or 31? Mm, that's a good question. So if they sweep Oregon, I think they break their win streak record. Somebody fact check me. I don't like fake news, <laughs> um, but that would be, like if they sweep, it could be it could be a school record for them. Mm -hmm. um, I think they're gonna split. Yeah. I think Oregon's too good. Yeah. But Sierra's going. Romo's going with the with the sweep for OU. Something about that Sooner Magic. I something about her. Yeah. Some something about her. You know, somebody else has the name Romero on that team. Uh, yeah, that too. Um, <laughs> I think uh, just one thing to talk about too. Um, how good is the Pac-12 right now? Phenomenal. They're I mean, really fun to watch. Yeah, they are. I mean, everybody's like Oregon, Washington, and then Arizona State. Yeah. Um, and Giselle Juarez. Are you kidding me? What a fantastic season she's mm -hmm. having. Um, Killing it. You know, and I didn't even mention UCLA. I just talked about the Pac-12, and I didn't mention yeah, UCLA. Yeah, how rude. Um, <laughs> so but that's rude. how good they are. That's how good the conference is now. Yeah. Where I was like, Oregon, Washington, Arizona State. Oh, they're and then like UCLA. They're leading the country in hitting. Yeah. They are. And um, Rachel Garcia, what a stud. She's doing awesome. Yeah, she, we, we She's were like talking, one of my favorites. We like, were talking about Rachel Garcia, and uh, she's also a favorite of Romero's, it seems mm -hmm. like. Yeah, she's just a stud. She can do yeah. it all. I love her demeanor on the mound, um, and I love a pitcher that can hit, and she can flat out hit. Mm -hmm. And so I, I was watching a game just the other night. I think she did two home runs in one game. And it was weird just because her presence at the plate, I was like, she's going to hit it out. Like, she just has that swag that I mean, you just have. You were just watching her, and you're like, she's, this like, she's gone. A, yeah, she's going to hit this out. Like, you could just tell by her demeanor and the way she was tracking the ball and just how she could differentiate different parts of the plate when she was hitting. I was like, oh, man, she's seeing a volleyball right, right now. Like, she's just seeing it's coming in so big. I actually yeah. have a pretty fun fact for y'all about oh. Rachel Garcia. Fun fact. So she is the third player in Pac-12 history to be named Pac-12 Player and Pitcher of the Week in the same week. Fun fact. Fun fact. That Nestor just happened, right? Nestor came in. Mm -hmm. Nestor Bennett, we see you. He came in, was like, she's Player and Pitcher of the Week, and she's only the third mm -hmm. in yeah, so Pac-12 history? Yeah. 
The other Look ones at were Allie like fact checking back I know. Then. Well, I saw it on social media. Okay. So, well, you know. social media is always one hundred percent accurate. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, she's a stud, man. You talk about all those great pitchers, and then it's like, oh, and she's also batting over four hundred, and like it's That's awesome. Yeah. It's unbelievable. And one of her coaches is Lisa Fernandez, <laughs> who pretty much did the same thing. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. That's who she reminds me of. Mm-hmm. Like cause I, I grew up watching Lisa, and you know I loved everything about her. And when I saw Rachel, I was like, that's a mini Lisa. Damn, yeah. that's a that's a huge compliment. So just a correction to the Oregon OU. Yeah, they're only playing one game. Oh, it's only one game. I okay. still got OU. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm She's gonna go. On that. I'm gonna go Oklahoma. One game Oklahoma. They're gonna keep their win streak alive. Yeah, <coughs> I'm gonna keep sucking out. Excuse me. <laughs> it's because you threw that photo up there of Patty. Like, we're say. just recognizing a huge transformation. She looks great. Yeah. Still looks fantastic. Um, all right, let's see what we got here. Yeah. We're just talking UCLA. A lot of pe- a lot of love for Rachel Garcia right now in the comments. Um, that stadium is going to be packed for Oregon and Oklahoma. Absolutely. Oh, are you kidding? I wish I could there. teleport there. Teleport yeah. Like, that's a very specific mode of transportation. Yeah, because I don't want to... You, you don't want to fly? You've enough. been traveling enough? Yeah, I've okay. been traveling enough. I wish that was a thing. Yeah, I would, right. I would, yeah, I would Beam me that. up. That'd could be also power. work on that after your softball career instead of PR. Okay. You could work on... I, would that be quantum physics? <laughs> I don't know what would allow you to transport. Yeah, <laughs> we're looking into it. We're <laughs> we're <laughs> Allie, get on it. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, your mom has to drop. She's saying... Boo. She's saying bye. She loves us, though. Bye, Mom. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Freshman of the year. <coughs> All right. Sorry, allergies are killer in Texas. I'm getting over them. I'm, I apologize. Freshman of the year. Yeah. A lot of favorites. I, to me, the freshman class this year has been phenomenal. So good. It's so fun to watch. It's really hard to believe. Yeah. Like, I was pulling stats for both freshman and player of the year. And I was typing some of these stats for these freshmen, and I had to remember that I was typing stats for freshmen. Mm-hmm. I thought I was talking about, like, juniors Yeah, you and could be. Yeah. Like it these, was unbelievable. These players could be in consideration for, like, player of the year, but it's really hard to get that yeah. nod being a freshman. Yeah. Let's talk about some of the favorites. My favorite, I think, going Aaliyah Jordan. Mm-hmm. Granted, she's a redshirt freshman, but she is absolutely killing it. She's batting 483, seven home runs, and 53 RBIs on the number one offensive team in the country, UCLA. 483 is no joke. Not at She's pretty freshman. good. And it's just, it's unbelievable. Yeah. It's crazy. And it's so great for it's her crazy. to be to be able to come back from an injury uh-huh. and then contribute right away. I mean, maybe, I know nobody likes to get injured, but maybe it was like a blessing in disguise. Hey, silver lining. Thanks. Yep. <laughs> you got a favorite? Romo's got a favorite. Of course she does. It keeps going back and forth. She doesn't have a favorite. But she's, she's indecisive. I really like Jocelyn Allo. Um, yeah. I have gotten to see Aaliyah Jordan hit on TV. Mm-hmm. Um, I got to see Jocelyn in person, and she's not your typical power hitter. She, she controls the play. She mm. controls the the pitchers really well I think she's very smart um, she doesn't get herself out a lot and I think that's what's key because the good hitters oh, yeah. um, you know they're not going to get pitched the same as as maybe somebody else in the lineup you're not going to get a good pitch to hit all the time so you have to make it work and I think she'll take her walks um, I her RBIs are just below Jordan but mm-hmm. I see them going up a yeah, amount. she's damn near 50 RBIs on the season. She's got 47, but these stats are only through April 11th for OU. So she probably she probably is over 50 at this point. But I, it's a toss up between them two. I'm have you seen sure. Jocelyn Allo hit home runs? I've I've seen it a couple. It is ungodly. <laughs> I, it's insane. She hits it so far. Well, and so then she scary. hit what an inside of the park. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she did. Yeah, she yeah. did. She had Sweet. an inside against um. Who was Wichita it against? State. Wichita State. No, yeah. uh, I could be wrong. Fact check us, but news. she did have an inside the park home <laughs> run. Um, but yeah, she's batting four fifty six, seventeen home runs, forty seven RBIs. Her slugging percentage is one point zero one percent. 
she's batting her slugging percentage okay. over 100. It's yeah, no big deal. Chez isn't impressed. Yeah. Um. So you got you like Aaliyah, you like Jocelyn. Um. Man, there are two pitchers on here that we really need to look at. Yeah. And shame on you, Romo. One of them is at Michigan. I know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, I'll start with the Michigan. Megan Bobian, .81 ERA. She's 25-2. and two. She has 183 Ks as a freshman. Uh, she's got no hitters. She she's did. She did. She threw a no hitter, too. Mm -hmm. um, I think she has, like, a couple of them. I mean, she was in our top five or top ten for – hot 100 like when she was a club player like we knew she was going to be a stud 183 strikeouts it's bananas no big <laughs> no big deal as a freshman uh and then we already mentioned gabby plain uh for washington but her era is 0.73 she's 13 and one not mowing them down like megan bobian um but she has 111 strikeouts uh both of those pitchers i mean those stats are mind-boggling yeah, and uh, then right up there, too, when you talk about strikeouts, Mary Half from Arkansas. She's having a great year. She I is mean, having that, a great she's season. She's forming into the ace mm -hmm. of that pitching staff. Yeah, don't I don't think oh. she'll win freshman of the year. Um, but her, I mean, she's setting, like you said, she's setting herself up for a really fantastic career at Arkansas. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, word. Word. <laughs> word. Uh, and then you had a couple others here on like a, on a short list here. Mm -hmm. um, you want to talk talk sure. about Katie Preble? You know, not in the strongest conference, but she's leading in a lot of offensive categories. And the big one to me was home runs. Oh yeah. So how about this? You look at the NCAA stats sheet for home runs, and lo and behold, the top two home run leaders in the country, both freshmen. And Katie Preble crazy. leading the country with 20. Now, obviously, I'm with you. You're going to argue that she's not pl she's not hitting against the best pitchers, but it's a feat in itself. It's, it's to something hit. to be recognized, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And then, not to mention, she's got 60 ribbies, yeah. not too shabby. Um, and Mia Davidson, another great slugger for Miss Mississippi State. Uh, she's got... 15 home runs in a conference that's not too shabby. Not too shabby. Mm -hmm. Not too shabby. All right. So your your pick is Aaliyah Jordan. Aaliyah Jordan. Jocelyn. Man. <laughs> I know. Right? Oh, boy. It's because I, I like hitters. I think, I think Jocelyn's going to win it. Um, but even man, though Gabby Aaliyah, Plain is having a fantastic... Aaliyah is beating her in RBIs for and now. batting average. <laughs> for now. I'm going to go with Romo's point. For now. I mean, I don't have a pick here. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Gabby might win it. Gabby Plain? I think Gabby Plain might win it. Because uh, we we talk about, like, freshman player or freshman of the year, player of the year, and so often it goes to a pitcher. Um, you know, we were talking about this a little bit before the show. And uh, it almost feels like there should be a pitcher of the year. Right, Romo? A thousand percent. Romo completely yeah. agrees. Uh, yeah. It's, it, it's hard to compare the two. Yeah. You can't. Um, so you, you think there should be a freshman of the year, a pitcher of the year, and a player of the year? Yes. Facebook folks, let us know what you think of that. <laughs> um, I strongly agree. Uh, because before, I think you won it in 2015? 16. 2016. I think it had been like 10 years or eight years in a row with a pitcher won it. It was some ridiculous statistic that we looked up and we talked about on the show. Um, and it's how you, like you said, it's hard to compare. I mean, how do you compare somebody who's hitting 475 yeah, they, with 60? Uh, you know, they don't like, really do the same things. No. What do you think? What do you think about this pitcher of the year separate category? I'm with it. Jez is I'm down. down. I'm down. Um, so, oh, Holly Dennison completely in all caps yes agree um no love for juarez nestor's coming in no love for juarez oh we actually did have her down for uh player of the year yeah oh wait sorry i just we weren't we're talking to, now we're talking about player of the year now <laughs> we, yeah. we've moved into player Whoops, of the year sorry <laughs> that was I like i went in the twilight zone for yeah <laughs> yep um <laughs> All right, talk player of the year. Okay, player of the year favorites. You ready, folks? 
obvious choice, Paige Parker. Hit him with the stats, Sarah. Hit him with the stats. I'm, I'm the stat girl. Um, 0.73 ERA, 132 strikeouts. She's third in NCAA. No big. No big deal. And tied, tied with Paige Parker, G. Juarez, having a phenomenal sophomore campaign, 0.73 ERA, 213 strike, uh, strikeouts. And uh, wait, am I reading this right? Yep, 213 strikeouts. Um, so she's fifth in the country. She's fifth in the country in strikeouts. Yeah. Yep. I mean, she basically put Arizona State on the map. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. yes. I hope they make the World Series. I hope they do too. I think it'd be mm -hmm. fa fantastic. It'd be awesome. For the game. Lots of pitchers for Player of the Year, mm -hmm. which is probably I feel like going to be the winner. Yeah. But to me, the one that's uh, who's a real big contender is Megan Gregg. Every year putting up strong RBI numbers. She's batting 403 for Tennessee, 13 jacks, and 57 RBIs. One thing I wanted to point out that I think gets overlooked a lot, I think you know people will focus on, oh, so-and-so is just having a, a great year. Mm -hmm. But I have a huge amount of respect for players that are consistent because I think consistency is very hard. It's hard to put up those numbers every single year when – people get video on you and mm -hmm. they start to find your weaknesses and then in the off season you need to perfect those weaknesses and make them strengths and I think that's something that's really hard to do and if you're able to consistently put up the numbers and consistently be, be good I think that just says a lot about you as a player I don't think you're just a you know a, a one year you know you have a great year mm -hmm. that's it it's you're just a flat out stud it's a really good point do you have any like are you thinking of anybody in specific like any player specifically well, I was thinking right of, now? of Greg of just because Greg. she's always you know, she's always good. She's always putting up the numbers, and she's in the SEC. And, and, you know, I know how hard it is when you have a good year and then people start to find your weaknesses mm -hmm. and you have, to, you have to perfect them and make them your strengths. If not, then you're not going to have a good year. And it's hard, and it's, it, it really is hard because you're always having to change your game and um, make something new work for you. Yeah, I think every season we're like, oh, yeah, and Megan Gregg is – Destroying every like mm -hmm. destroying every offensive category. It's just kind of like oh yeah, and Megan Gregg. Um, yeah, I definitely think that consistency is something that's undervalued. Mm. I'll take that over a player that's just having a good year any day. I'll take someone who's consistent mm -hmm. because I know I can rely on them and I know that they're going to get the job done. I wish it were Wednesday because that would be your Wisdom Wednesday for <laughs> Sierra Romero. <laughs> um, no, it'd just like it'd be like that Instagram. Yeah, do, 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 do. yeah, exactly. We need we need <laughs> studio guys. We need some sound effects in here. Yeah. Um, we so need horses. Paige Parker, Megan Gregg for the yeah horses for the dark horse. Um, Giselle, we've talked about Giselle Juarez, uh, uh, Kelly Barnhill. Um, point seven four, ERA, two hundred nine strikeouts. Um, Say what you will about her crow hop. Uh, those are fantastic numbers, and she's on a on a team that played OU really hard yep. um, in the final last year. Uh, it's it's unbelievable to me that her numbers are just kind of like uh, they're just like everybody else's numbers on this list. Like the pitching yeah, is right? unbelievable, it's just phenomenal. Because you go the next the next player on our list is Taryn Alvello, also a point seven uh, seven four ERA, two hundred one strikeouts. Um, so there are three pitchers in a row who are under points, uh, under a point seven five ERA and over two hundred strikeouts at this point in the season. Mm -hmm. it's, it's unbelievable. Crazy. Um, it's crazy. All right, what do you say? What do you what do you say about Shippy? She's good. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, Expert <laughs> opinion. Okay, from great, great, like, like, She's like, good. Vanessa Shippy puts up phenomenal numbers every. Mm -hmm. for Oklahoma State. Another kind of consistent player that, you know, might yeah. not. She's a, a really key player for for them to be able to kind of up the talent level and where Oklahoma stands nationally. In softball, I think she's a pivotal player uh, for them. You know, do I think she's going to get player of the year? Honestly, no. Short list. But, yeah, she's, yeah. On, she's somebody to talk about. I mean, batting close to 500 – and uh, on base percentage of nearly 700. Yeah. Out it's of good. your leadoff. It's good. It's good. Yep. It's good. And Jesse Scroggins at Baylor, again, kind of probably not going to win player of the year, but she's batting almost 500, 44. She has 15 stolen bases, 
um, like solid solid numbers mm -hmm. in the Big Twelve. Yeah. Um, but. And then Ra you've got Randy Rupp. Oh yeah, I forgot about Randy Rupp. Uh, yeah, another yeah. pitcher, um, not quite up there in ERA, but up there in strikeouts. Um, she's second in the country in strikeouts. Uh, but is she playing like in the SEC in Pac-12? But she just uh, beat Texas. They have a tendency to do that. Uh, we got a we got a comment on here. We talked so much about Rachel Garcia, and they're, they're like Rachel Garcia for Player of the Year. Um, you know, she, what do you think? She's not up there in numbers. Kay. If we're if we're like if we're being objective mm -hmm. about who Player of the Year should be, talent wise, hell yeah, I want her on my Team USA. Mm -hmm. She can do everything. Mm -hmm. um, but just like numbers wise, she's not. She's not up there, but they're still strong. They're not like crappy numbers. No, they're no. good. It's numbers. just like when we're doing this comparison yeah. in stats, she's not kind of like up there with them when you're talking about pitching numbers and offensive numbers. Do we miss anybody? Mm. You want to talk about your sister? I I sense yeah. a little favoritism. I, I feel like you want to. I feel like I feel like you want to make a. I feel like there's someone plug. with the last name Romero you want to yeah. talk about. Just real quick, well, trying I to plug my sister. <laughs> 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 I mean, I I would take Cindy any day, over over anyone. Um, That's the correct answer, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> um, her sisters. I mean, her uh, numbers are good. Her yeah, numbers are good. Her numbers like, are really. She's an All American year for sure. Yeah, um, no, she's gonna be an All American. Oh. I guess like what I just just because I know her on a on a more personal level. Um, oh, you do? Yeah, I do. Okay. Um, she is a coach's dream. Um, she's a leader. Uh, she has a way of bringing people up around her um, and making the team better. And I think that's something that is very special in a player because not everybody knows how to do that. Mm -hmm. And it's something you have to learn and be willing to learn because it involves sacrifice like from yourself. Um, but yeah, I mean, I love my sister. And she also only has like, what, three strikeouts or something like she that? She did, yeah, on the game notes, I think it was only three strikeouts so far Which in the season. Which is just insane. And I think that's something well. that she needs to take pride in because I mean, last year she had what, four? I mean, uh, insane. Her freshman year, she had four. Last year she had nine. This year, she, so she's under, that's 16 in her career. And she's a junior. See, that's, that's insane. insane to me. She's, she's, she's been struck out under 20 times uh, and she's a junior. Let that sink in. She's going to put the ball in play. She's going to do what she has to do, and I think that's something that I love. Um, I'm pretty sure in high school they did, like, a comparison, and, like, one year I had, like, 30-something strikeouts, and she had, like, three in, like, her whole career. Oh, wow. Yeah. In four years in high school, I was like, oh, cool. All right. Well, who's better? <laughs> you or her? I got to say me. Okay, good. But she's good. She is good. And us together is She's all right. She's all right. Both of us together. They're both all right. <laughs> They're all right. Yeah. Um, a quick question. So, you know, towards the end of the season, you know that you're, like, in the top three for play of the player of the year. Does that start to play in your mind at all? Do you think about it? Or kind of how do you how do you deal with that? Because, obviously, a lot of people are – it becomes pretty hyped up. And it does. And towards the end of the season, you're going you're gonna to start to figure out – who really is a player of the year candidate because a, the true player of the year isn't going to fall into that like mental state. They're not going to let that that mental part of the game take over. They're going to have so much mental toughness that it's not going to matter all the all the hype and and, ev and everything else. You know, they're just going to go out and they're going to do what they do and then the people that kind of start to fall off, um, maybe they shouldn't have been player of the year because a player of the year candidate and winner is just going to be so mentally tough that nothing's going to phase them. Um, and I think that mental toughness is what separates a lot of the players. Um, so how, yeah. how did it feel to win that award? It was awesome. Um, my freshman year, I think I made it to like top 10. And then every year after that, I was in the top three. And so it just every year it was kind of sucked, you know, not, not getting it. And then my senior year, I just kind of went into it like, whatever. Like, yeah. I don't even care anymore. And, and then, then that's when you went and in. then that's what I won. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, it was awesome. It was it was an honor, um, and it was really cool for Michigan, um, just to represent Michigan. I was so proud of that, and just to see the look on Hutch's face was 
definitely the icing on the cake. Do you know how many Player of the Year Michigan have in history? Michigan history. How many Michigan they have? softball. Yeah. I think I was the second. Second. Yeah, I think uh, Jenny Ritter was the first. Oh okay. yeah, I faced her. I figured there was a, uh, there was a couple, like maybe at least one other, but yeah, that is that's a good point. It's fantastic for the school as well mm-hmm. for the player. Like it's mm-hmm. a really and the coach. Um, Word. We got, I have a specific question for you, Sierra. Somebody came in. Um, they're like, now that you have finished college, if you could tell your high school self one thing, what would it be? Oh, man, that's tough. Yeah, put you on the spot. I'm getting deep. Just to never stop doing the fundamentals. Um, I think now more than ever, I focus in on those fundamentals. Um, in high school, I think... You know, I, I, I was good, and, and I was so excited about getting recruited, and I think getting recruited now and going to college is just starting to take over, and and girls will get their scholarship, and then they just kind of stop working. They just kind of coast, coast through it, and if you want to have a starting position all four years, you, you can't just coast, and um, I would definitely just tell myself that it's only going to get harder. It definitely got harder every single year. Not one year was easier than the other. There was always a new challenge. Um, and just to kind of prepare myself for it by doing the little things and never stopping. I think that sounds pretty good. Wisdom, Wednesday. Wisdom, <laughs> Wednesday. We, got, we had the wrong, we were on the wrong day. <laughs> wrong day. Um, Sarah's just <laughs> dropping knowledge today, man. She is dropping knowledge. Um, I feel like we need to circle back to the jacket conversation. <laughs> um, I don't know if anybody did we we have actually, a lot of people said Sierra's jacket. A lot so. of a lot of people said Sierra. Yeah. Like, come on, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I t- Haters gonna hate. <laughs> she says you lost again. Thanks for reminding. Me. <laughs> <laughs> this is bull. <laughs> this is bull. <laughs> I like the jacket. Thank you. I so like Sierra's I. more. Same. Same. Same Z's over there. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Finale. I hate you guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> so, uh, uh, what else? What else are you doing here in Austin? We got you in Austin. What else? Anything fun? We're gonna go somewhere and play some games after this, and I'm gonna win. Sierra, I can't wait. Romo, no, Romo is going to. <laughs> I already Jess know. is going to lose again. No, I am going to destroy her. I've already <laughs> notified her. So I was mentally preparing for this last night. Like I was thinking about this last night. <laughs> I was like, okay, if we play basketball games, I need to make sure, like, my shot. I will destroy you. Y- you won't. Anybody Money. in my path, <laughs> I will destroy you. I don't know. That. Apparently, Chez is really good at basketball. She's been Thank you, Allie. It. Thank you. Chez is 5-1. <laughs> She's not Muggsy Bogues, folks. Look, we are not making <laughs> short jokes. <laughs> we are. If we're making white jokes, we're making short jokes. I'm, oh, we're I'm gonna play that game. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's gonna get nasty in here, folks. Jeez, it's gonna get nasty. <laughs> Real quick, player of the year. Oh, we didn't even decide. We didn't. Get, we, didn't. we didn't even decide. Thanks for keeping yeah, us focused last, here, last Chaz. Mm-hmm. Um, your vote because it's important. Paige, I think Paige is gonna win it. Paige Parker. Paige Parker. Paige Parker. Yeah. Dang, I'm like one for OU with everything. I'm, yep. like, I'm really not trying to. You should have just yeah. come in really here with an OU to. shirt and an OU jacket. Yeah. Yeah. You should have had like one of those decal tattoos on Dang. your cheek. OU's going to be, OU would be Washington. OU's going to be Oregon. Freshman of the year, player of the year. They're all on. Sydney's amazing. Sydney's amazing. <laughs> yeah, she's grumpy, but we love her. <laughs> she likes sunset. <laughs> she's grumpy. Um, <laughs> she falls downstairs, you know. She does fall downstairs. Uh so uh, just a little, just adding to kind of like what we've uh, been doing. Uh, yesterday, um, we filmed some some great informational information and uh, educational pieces oh, on the field. For, so for those of you watching, um, probably in two to three weeks, we'll be releasing some of uh, Sierra's kind of like master class on uh, infield. And we'll do it on Wednesday, so yeah. it can be Wisdom Wednesday. And um, we'll be <coughs> premiering one <coughs> of our me. new shows, which is called The Hot 100 Lab. And um, Sierra is the first episode. And then the next one will be with Lauren Chamberlain. So super excited about trying out some new stuff on Flow Softball. And most of all, how cool is it that we can support players that make our game so great? 
Um, just like, it's pretty cool. I never thought, like, if you would have asked me 10 years ago if I would be doing this, I'd be like, hell no. So you were going to be coaching? <laughs> yeah, I did think I was going to be coaching. And then I hung up the coaching shoes. Do other specific coaches? They're turfs. Okay. <laughs> sure. I hung up, she hung up the turfs. I hung up my turfs. Um, so. No, but it's been a – Chez and, and Roma have been able to hang out quite a bit. It's been an honor to have you here. Um, we appreciate you coming in and letting us be idiots on Facebook Live with you. Yeah, um, on a Transformation Tuesday. On a Transformation Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, support your pro teams. These are the best athletes in the sport. Um, yeah, so uh, our times for this show are going to change. Again. We weren't really feeling the Wednesday morning slot, so we're going to try to shoot for uh, Monday or Tuesday. So just stay tuned on social. We'll let you all know. Um, yeah. You guys got anything to add? Allie, do you want to give a shout-out to Taylor Edwards? Hey, Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> just remember, biggest fan right here. <laughs> Alex Power says that you have a dream job. Oh, Alex P. Dream job for sure. Thanks, Alex. It's a dream sometimes, not all the time. <laughs> but sometimes it's really it's cool. It, it's really cool. You know, last week I was able to throw a javelin with a three-time Olympian. Which was, oh, wow. yeah. And then. Embarrassing uh, for her. Yeah, that was <laughs> embarrassing. It is so hard. D javelin is not have easy. you tried to throw one i have I, it is like so weird it, the technique is very very specific yeah it's a very odd it thing to throw. very embarrassing on the first throw i thought i could do it and then it's i it's not like a softball nope no. not, not at all not like it's yeah. like it's like this and then you like yeah you have to keep the javelin like by oh, your oh, eye <laughs> yeah. you have to keep i was a catcher it's fine and then like throw it and then in the weight distribution is really weird mm -hmm. it's super light mm-hmm and then um, Kara Winger was her name. Okay. And she just, like, launched one, like. She just winged it? Yeah. See she was that? awesome. See and uh, Adeline Gray, who is a world champion wrestler, she was in one of the body issues. For Did you wrestle her? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I just observed. I'd yeah. love to see that. Yeah. I observed and commented. Okay. Uh, but that will be a piece. I'm not sure when that will come out. Okay. But it was pretty fun. And something different that I got to do. And you were traveling all over the... Was all over the Big Ten. All over the Big Ten. Hit up the Minnesota, wrong time of the year. Yeah. Northwestern, Cold. or the right time. It snowed oh so God. much, we didn't know what yeah. to do. Uh, Indiana and uh, Illinois. And then I had an off day. Just one. Just one. Just Did one. Did you get to Michigan? No, because I went there last year. So I know. Well, Wind's the best place, so. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> uh, Is it the best it is. Speaking it of, uh, we got a question. Are you, will you think about coaching when your career is over? Absolutely. Yeah. But I want to wait till I'm done playing. Yeah. Good for you. 2020. 2020. 2020 and 2024. Let's go. Um, all right. That's it. I think we're, we're, we're going to see you guys next week. <laughs> uh, we love that you guys join us. Uh, super fun. Yeah. We got Chamberlain next week. Yep. And Sarah's still gonna be pale. I will. So. I will probably be whiter than this. <laughs> so, and Ches will still be short. These, These are true. facts. And These I'm facts. gonna play her at basketball, and I'm gonna crush her. Doubt it. Maybe like on the actual basketball court. But. Okay. All right. Give some love to Sierra Romero. Thanks again for coming in. Thank you for having me. We appreciate it. It's been great. We're out. Do something.